SpaceX, without a doubt, has transformed the space race with its reusable Falcon family of rockets. What once seemed like a lofty dream is now a reality, as they've made rocket launches almost as routine as plane takeoffs. Yet even with these monumental achievements under their belt, the Falcon rockets pale in comparison to the ambition and potential of their Starship rocket. Starship, once fully operational, is set to redefine the possibilities of space travel. With its massive stature standing at a whopping 120 meters tall and weighing an impressive 5 million pounds, it represents the zenith of space engineering. Starship is not just about its size. Its vision is to be a fully integrated system, capable of carrying humans to Mars and potentially other interstellar destinations. A perfect example of the saying, the sky is not the limit. However, with grand designs come grand challenges. The sheer size and ambition of the Starship meant traditional infrastructure simply wouldn't suffice. To accommodate Starship's requirements, SpaceX had to go back to the drawing board for nearly everything. From custom-built Raptor engines that can produce over 230 metric tons of thrust to specialized launch pads to withstand the behemoth's weight and power. Yet, one of the most innovative systems tailored for Starship has to be the Mechazilla launch tower. This engineering marvel almost seems like it's been plucked out of a sci-fi movie. Its role is to aid in the stacking, lifting, and catching of the Starship and its booster. The Mechazilla system exemplifies how SpaceX is not just pushing boundaries but shattering them, proving time and time again that with the right vision and tenacity, the impossible can be made possible. However, as groundbreaking as this system is, it's presenting some hurdles for SpaceX, especially concerning the upcoming Starship launch. These aren't just minor hiccups, but significant challenges. Before we delve deeper into these issues, make sure to subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates on the Starship rocket. With the second launch of Starship just around the corner, many people are left wondering why SpaceX isn't planning to utilize the revolutionary Mechazilla system. To address this, it's important to highlight the significance of the Mechazilla system. This system is, without a doubt, an engineering marvel that has garnered attention for its innovative approach to handling spacecraft. It streamlines the process of launching and retrieving spacecraft in a way that has never been seen before. The efficiency, speed, and precision it offers are truly remarkable. While Mechazilla holds the potential to revolutionize spacecraft handling, it's important to weigh the benefits against its significant cost. Estimates suggest that integrating Mechazilla into the Starship program could potentially inflate the project's budget by hundreds of millions, if not billions, of dollars. This substantial price difference necessitates a careful evaluation of the system's overall value to the mission. Additionally, the unproven nature of Mechazilla raises concerns about reliability and safety. Handling a mission as critical as Starships requires a system that has undergone extensive testing and validation. It's essential to minimize the potential for technical failures, especially given the high stakes involved. As a sobering reminder, the April launch test's outcome, which resulted in the destruction of the launch mount and surrounding infrastructure, highlights the inherent risks in space exploration. Relying on an expensive and untested system like Mechazilla could introduce undue uncertainties and jeopardize the success of missions. Therefore, SpaceX's decision to prioritize cost-effectiveness and reliability over unproven technology is a calculated and responsible choice. By doing so, they aim to ensure the sustainability and success of the ambitious Starship program, all while navigating the complex landscape of space exploration. For instance, if we take a famous traditional rocket system as an example, the cost of implementing Mechazilla would be equivalent to the budget of multiple smaller-scale space missions. SpaceX is opting for a more economical approach with the splashdown and sinking scenario. At the culmination of the orbital test flight for its colossal 164-foot Starship, SpaceX envisions a re-entry into the atmosphere at breakneck speeds nearing Mach 25 or an astonishing 19,000 miles per hour. This high-stakes maneuver will be followed by a thrilling 15-minute phase of hypersonic flight, 
During this period, the spacecraft will hurtle sideways, generating an intense and searing heat before gracefully transitioning to an upright position for what they humorously describe as a soft rocket-powered ocean landing, a mere 62 miles north of the picturesque Kauai. The Starship is expected to meet its watery fate in the depths of the Navy's Pacific Missile Range facility. It will join the ranks of dozens of warships that have met their end over the past decades during Navy sink exercises in waters as deep as 15,000 feet. Mechazilla, affectionately dubbed Chopsticks by Elon Musk, made its debut in the space world as a groundbreaking concept introduced by SpaceX engineers faced with a unique challenge. When confronted with the intricate problem of landing legs for the Starship booster, the SpaceX team decided to take an unconventional route. They contemplated a radical idea inspired by a memorable scene from the movie The Karate Kid. In this iconic cinematic moment, Mr. Miyagi uses chopsticks to catch flies with unparalleled precision and skill. The concept, while initially met with skepticism, evolved and transformed into what we now know as the Mechazilla Launch Tower. This ingenious structure not only serves the purpose of stacking rockets, but also possesses the remarkable capability to catch returning boosters midair. I'm sure many of you are asking, when is the second launch going to happen? The space community is buzzing with anticipation, and there's growing evidence pointing to a specific time frame. Whispers within the industry and recent formal documentation hint at a launch in the not-so-distant future. In fact, a maritime notice, often a reliable precursor to major activities, has detailed significant preparations by SpaceX. This notice earmarks a rocket launch set against the picturesque Boca Chica Beach in Texas. November 1st stands out as the probable launch date. While the exact timing retains a degree of unpredictability, backup plans have been devised for each subsequent day. With just a short wait, potentially as brief as 10 days, the world might be gearing up to see the largest rocket ever soar into the skies. But there's a snag in the countdown, the all-important regulatory approval. It's almost ironic that the most advanced rocket ever built is being held up by paperwork. And it's not just fans who are feeling the frustration. Musk himself has voiced his concerns. A recent tweet of his highlights this sentiment. After the Starship launch in April, he lamented the slow speed at which U.S. fish and wildlife officials were processing SpaceX's documentation. He tweeted, It's crazy that SpaceX can build such a big rocket faster than they can review some papers. That's all for today's SpaceX update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.